Salvaging Lead Bullets from a Log Backstop, William Hovey Smith, 2016. I'm Hovey Smith, the author of Extreme Muzzle Loading, and we do muzzle loading shooting, and here I recover old bullets from a log backstop, which I'm going to remelt and even sell. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman, and today uh, we are going to deconstruct, recover lead from, and replace my old 50-yard backstop here. Now this was a big round of pecan wood that was from a tree that fell about six years ago. And rather than cutting it up at the time, I just rolled it over here and used it as a 50-yard backstop. But it's now pretty well deteriorated, and I have other pieces of pine that I'm going to put in here in its stead and take this out and burn it, recover the lead, and make charcoal. You can see the spent lead bullets in it. Here, and here. And so just as the wood is removed, I'm going to go ahead and pull these things out and then take the residue and sieve it just to make sure uh, we get everything possible that's recoverable. Much of this wood is so friable, I just knock it apart with a camp axe. We have one tub of material now ready to remove to the burn pile. And I'm going to go get some wedges so we can start splitting some of that wood that's, while um, deteriorated to some degree, is still reasonably solid. The log has a large hollow in the middle. And so I now have two wedges started. This one that you see that I'm driving in vertically and this one here that I've driven in horizontally to hopefully split it down this axis. I'm making some progress in this direction so far as knocking off this section here. So that gets one hunk out of it. Now that we're starting to get this round somewhat reduced, you can see where the main area of impact was. It was in here. So this area is more rotted and also spalted. And you can see individual bullet hits there, there, and elsewhere here, for example. And we're starting to recover a fair amount of bullets and we're finding that our larger caliber bullets, our heavier belted balls from the Brunswick rifle, had furthest penetration. But the absolute best penetration were from these solid copper bullets here. These are made by Barnes, Remington, and others. So these are really excellent big game bullets. Now we're getting to the point where finding these balls is just about like finding nuggets in the stream. And uh, we're picking up some pretty big things. And here's one of our belted balls right there. Yeah. So that's definitely worth salvaging. With the second cart ready to go to the burn pile, we've now reduced the weight of that by, well, between 25 and 30 percent, I would suppose. Some of this is too solid to chip off, so we're going to cut it into some smaller sections. I do have to be careful because there is at least one piece of bob wire uh, grown up into that trunk.
we have lawnmower and cart. Then there we have what's remaining of our backshot log, which is not very much. Most of it I've already got. We have a couple of rounds there. And there on that tarp, I have a screen. And what I'm doing is when I complete busting up the log and moving the pieces, I'm actually going to dig out what remains and screen it and recover the lead that's on the screen. We have that log now done and loaded up on the carp, as you see. And we did recover some interesting bullets like this when we split it up. And there's more down in that wood that we'll screen out. But this is the sort of impression it made in the wood uh, with a little rod around it after it sat there for about five years. Oh, we're sipping out here now. And we are recovering some lead. Uh, these are a few pieces we've gotten thus far. Just this past few minutes. So we're catching things from 30 caliber to 54 right now. We also have quite a few live beetles in here too. Sometimes I recover these with friends who fish with live bait, but uh, bass really like them. Now here are my dog has been eagerly snacking on some of the grubs. She likes those. Not the mature beetle so much, but the grubs she likes. See the bullets starting to pop up out of the mix here. Right here down in the middle of the sheet. Then when I get the fine sort of rake down, the coarser particles are sort of rake off the top like this. So I can watch what's going on. When dried, these coarser particles make excellent fire starter and grill and such. We have our cart full here, and this is the last of it. And this is that piece of pesky wire that was giving me problems all the way through. Yeah, there were three strands of barbed wire grown into that piece of wood. Up here in the middle, where the pile was, we raked up all the little loose stuff. So I don't catch it with my lawnmower. There on the tarp, you see our two piles, one of larger wood chips and the other of the separated fines. Now those fines are a pretty good potting soil. And I have used it for that purpose before. And it's growing some fine tomatoes right now, as a matter of fact. And here are my flourishing tomato plants. But uh, I don't have any immediate use for it. So what I'm going to do is I've got some bare spaces in the lawn and I'm going to spread that out to hopefully uh, help get my grass a little better established in places I don't have any. And the wood chips over there, uh, they're going to go in a bucket and used as fire starter after they dry. So everything out of here is going to be used one way or another. We have our old cart empty now and a new pallet on the burn pile and I use pallets which are available just for the asking for both salvage wood for my building products and also underneath my burn piles because for making charcoal I want a nice even floor and a good flow of air through it and so that's just awaiting some drying time before we'll add more to it and actually burn it. Well we've cleared out the old backstop and established the new and I'll have a later video on how we actually melt that lead down that, and recover it. But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Besides extreme muzzleloading, I also write an annual section in the Gun Digest. Among my e-books are Shooting and Maintaining Your Muzzleloader, hunting with muzzle-loading shotguns and smoothbore muskets, and hunting big and small game with muzzle-loading pistols, all of which are available on Amazon. My newest venture is Hovey's Knives of China, 
where we take Chinese knives of ancient designs and make them of modern materials. Now, if you want one of these recovered belted balls, uh, I'll occasionally have them, and you can get them for $10 each. Now, you can inquire to the address below. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 525 videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.